My name's Sol Blair and I'm with the Aboriginal Medical Service Redfern. Well, the AMS wanted to get involved in this campaign um, because we're just burying out people too many and too young. Uh, we run a, a number of health promotional things here and over primary health care. With the, uh, we have the Bob Blair, Judge Bob Blair Diabetes Clinic, uh, heart disease, uh, lung, everything. And we find 90% of our patients up to, up to five or ten years ago were, were smokers. I, I think there was national statistics were, were put out to say that 60% of the Aboriginal population were cigarette smokers. But let's, let's not get bogged down with just cigarettes. It's, it's smoking per se. Uh, people that think they can smoke cigars like I used to um, thought that that was one way of escaping the bullet. Well, it doesn't. People that smoke pipes, sm people that smoke marijuana and any other substance, it's, it's all linked around that. While it may be a tobacco control campaign, it's certainly not just stopping at tobacco, it's going to be all, <clears throat> all, all substances. Well, we hope to achieve a longer lifestyle. Um, I don't like to use the word close the gap, but it's, um, it's something we just want to see, particularly our Aboriginal men. We want to see them live beyond 60 years of age, 65 years of age. Um, in some instances, it's 50 years of age where at the Aboriginal life expectancy for men. We, we want to prolong our life. We want, we want our, um, our men to, to, to grow up with their grandchildren and great-grandchildren the, the same way that their non-Aboriginal counterparts um, uh, uh, enjoy. I think that was once in the past where, where younger people did look uh, and there was this badge of honour that as soon as you could smoke, you did. Nine, ten years of age, kids at school, at primary school, look and round the streets and say, well, so-and-so's smoking, so I'm going to experiment, I'm going to try. And next thing you know, they're hooked. But there isn't... I mean, apart from the, apart from the, the, the diseases um, associated with smoking, there also is because of the cost. And, and people are going out, you know, going without food because of the cost of cigarettes. Well, when I quit, a pack of cigarettes cost $8. Now they're costing upwards of 16 to 19 dollars. Now, people are, are going without food because they're so addicted. They're going without food so that they can buy a pack of cigarettes. It, it creates another poverty. Um, it creates, you know, people are stealing. People are breaking into shops and grabbing cigarettes um, and selling them cheaply. So, so it it it, it creates another um, an, another thing in the community that we just don't want. But basically, we really, really want people to quit because of their health and the health of their young, uh, the young people coming behind them. Well, the FACES campaign will be for, for people within the community, um, some, some recognisable um, uh, uh, identities within the community, some just ordinary people. We'll be using them on billboards on the back of, uh, of the public transport buses um, and, and basically just to, have, just to show that, you know, you can be anybody that gets caught up in this, in, in this whole thing of, of smoking and, and, and becoming addicted. But, but the end result of that is that a lot that have given up smoking in the, in the last few years have continued to stay off the cigarettes. It's going to take a hell of a long time, and I've tried it. I've tried it hundreds of times to quit, quit for one day, then quit for a month, or quit for a couple of years. But I finally quit with the help of Nicorettes. Um, finally quit, and, and, and people can do that. All I'm saying is just... Keep quitting, keep quitting. Sooner or later, you're going to be off them for good like I am. Just quit, just get off them. Get, get off them, get off them for good.